Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. Big day today. The machine comes today. I just need to get some of the stuff out of the way so that everything is out of their way so they can move the machine in. Also, I got a lot of tuner brakes. I just need to get them out of there. <laughs> they are here, so I have all the stainless to make the brakes. And like I said, the machine's coming today. Uh, I still don't have power. As you guys saw, they marked the poles on the last episode. You guys saw that, still marked. Nothing has happened. So we're gonna move the machine in today. I found out <laughs> that they will bring the machine and after the machine is installed, then they have to send somebody to set it all up. So not, I just assumed that they're gonna come, drop it off, get it all installed and everything, but that's not how it works. So just more waiting. But anyway, still exciting. It's still very exciting. So I got uh, stuff to move there. I'm gonna move that trailer, that trailer. And I have a dumpster. I'm probably gonna leave that dumpster there. But anyway, I'm gonna get all the stuff out of the way and get ready for them. I don't want them waiting on me. All right, we got everything out of the way. We had those rods here. We got that out of the way, trailers, everything. I have a dumpster right there, which I don't think it's gonna be in the way. But if it is, those riggers will have a big forklift. So I'm sure they can just pick it up and move it if they need to. Other than that, wide open space. They shouldn't have a problem getting the machine in here. Uh, this door that I have here is 12 feet wide, 12 feet tall. So this should not be a problem. And the machine's gonna be right there. So, <laughs> can't wait. There's the first part. That is the conveyor, the chip conveyor. I guess the lathe won't be far behind. All right, so this is the conveyor. This is the chip conveyor. So this goes in the lathe. And while the lathe is running, you actually have the option to turn this thing on and off with the with the code with G code but anyway the chips would fall in there it would take them out and of course you put a barrel whatever you want under there and uh, that's how you get the chips out of the machine this is Tad this is how my you salesman how you doing thank you Tad uh, he's been extremely extremely helpful in this entire <laughs> entire uh, process so thank yeah. you man you're welcome buddy uh, i've been there too that's why this is such a big deal so tad was a machinist himself yes. right yes i was yeah. so that has been extremely helpful to me because i've been able to bounce stuff off of him and he understands what i'm going through yeah. especially with the power situation i mean you can see <laughs> still no three-phase so how far behind is the machine uh it should be about 30 minutes out i've already talked to the riggers and told them you got a good base good place to drive and Kind of covered all the bases I could, but right. if you've been following Eric's footage, everything he's talking about, there's so much to building a business, and you see the end product, it's perfect. But I mean, electricity, foundation, uh, concrete tooling, everything, it's all got to come into play. So, yeah, and I'm finding out uh, as I go, this has been a lot harder than I thought, but hey, we're gonna, we're gonna knock it out, yeah, we're gonna get through it. All right, man. We'll wait for the machine to show up, and I'll I'll give you some more some more juicy footage. All right, here we go. This is the forklift. All right, it's coming together. So well, this been, is the forklift. Great, it looks kind of small from far away, but look at the size of the wheels on this thing. What's the capacity on this? Uh, this one is a... Uh, you okay being on camera? About 35. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, about 35. What's the capacity? It's a, it's a, it's a uh, 36, matter of fact. So I'm gonna say about 28, I'm sorry. 28,000? Uh -huh. All right. It's a big one. I know they make them way bigger, but this thing's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is cool. So, this is uh, these are the riggers. So Tad said these guys are the best riggers in the business. So San Antonio, Austin, they cover me every every job I do. Yeah. So these guys, again, Tad has not led me wrong yet. So that's who we're using. That's pretty cool. This guy looks like he doesn't even need a forklift. 
<laughs> there we go. There it is, right there. It's coming in. Everybody showed up at once. <laughs> oh man, that's a big crate. All right, exciting times. <laughs> so he got lost for a while. That's why these guys are giving him heck. <laughs> We're gonna put this thing, holy. All right, they can't, appre look, look at this guy. You guys know how big I am. Look at this guy, holy yeah. smokes. <laughs> anyway, uh, just put it wherever you want. <laughs> oh. Anyway, we're waiting for the UPS truck to move and then I guess we're going to bring it back here. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. That's what we're doing. All right. So we're going to bring it down here and uh, we're going to start unboxing. You guys know I don't like unboxing videos. This one I may like. All right. So we're going to go ahead and, well, <laughs> I said we. <laughs> I said we like if I'm doing anything. They're going to unload it right here. So they're going to take this big forklift and they're going to stick it under that box and i guess they're going to take the box over there and they'll unbox it over there i don't know what's all in there i hope there's a lathe in there there it is the big crate i'm trying to stay out of the way the best i can Got a little dent. All right, they're gonna go ahead and un unbox it right there where it's at. There it is. She's in there. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Are you wondering what it is? <laughs> You'll find out very shortly. Cameron. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there she is. Finally. Thank you. Finally. She's a beauty, Ted. Let's look. Let's go look on the back side. This is why you hire riggers. These guys know what they're doing, and they have the equipment to do it. I would be so scared doing this myself. Oh man, it's a bit scary. <laughs> they want to tilt this way, so they're gonna have to figure something out. That's what they're trying to figure out right now because they had to close the forks up to be able to slide them under there and then when they go to pick it up, Lathe wants, uh, he wants to lean towards me. So they're trying to figure out a better way to do it. Alright, I think they finally found a spot. Here we go. Stay level, stay level. <laughs> and I don't even want to get close to it. Off the platform. All right, I guess she's gonna go straight into the shop now.
chip conveyor is going to be on the other side. Then I'm going to have, maybe one day we'll get a bar feeder. For now, I'm just going to put a metal rack right there. And then I'm going to put my uh, my milling machine in the corner, my manual milling machine. And probably right there where the toolbox is, I'll put my manual lathe right there. So I'm just going to move all my machines in here. Hey, I'm no expert, but I don't think it's level. <laughs> Might be off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good to you, huh? <laughs> so this is why I sealed my floors. That stuff will wipe right up. Okay. All right, so obviously they're still not done setting it up, but let's take a quick peek in here. There's the main chuck. This is a sub spindle. Of course, that's the turret. This is a uh, tool checker, and of course there's a light, and uh, yeah, it's all in here. Look at those lines, holy smokes. Cool stuff. So now they're going to use some manual jacks, is that what's going on here? Yep. That's it. There's a little right here. I just want to show people that it does not penetrate. All right. All right, so now they gotta get the chip conveyor. Bring it inside. All right, he got it. I think this guy's done this before. All right, so I think we found a good stopping point. We got these guys some pizza, some water. So we're gonna I think it's a good time to eat now, but she's looking good. Looking good. What do you think, Ted? I know you do this all the time, but. <laughs> I love it, man, I love it. Yeah, man, this thing's gonna. I watched you, I watched you get excited about this, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, man, it's, it's a big step for me, but. Yep, yep. <sighs> this is gross. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice light it's got in there. Everything, everything's nice. <laughs> I imagine this thing's gonna come out. Nice, very nice. What's that? Oh yeah, it's got a parts catcher. So how does that happen? They go in there? Yeah, you, it'll it'll kick it off into here and just open this door. Oh, you just out. open it and then yep. there they are. So you don't even have to, you don't even have to open the door. Oh, nice. Yeah. So this is a parts catcher. The parts are done, it's gonna spit them into here. Yep. Then I'll be able to just open this thing, get all the parts out. The machine keeps running. Yeah. You were asking if the machine had a push rod. So it's right here. If it has what? Push rod. So whenever you get down on the sub spindle, there's a hydraulic cylinder back in there. It pushes the part out into this arm, which you can't see right now. Okay. But the arm sits up underneath here, pushes the part out into here and then Rolls it over into the nice. parts. And then the arm stays out of the way, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, right perfect. So this is the uh, sub spindle. Okay, so this thing moves back, or is that where it goes? Well, I don't even know. Yep, only see it goes all the way back. Nice, nice. All right, so there goes the last truck. That was Tad. That was my salesman. That guy has been key player in making this happen for me. He, I was really struggling with the whole process until I found him and uh, my goodness, it was still tough, don't get me wrong, but he just helped me tremendously. Just like, you can't even, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. And I told him, I thanked him more than once for what he did for me. So extremely happy. Uh, now we got a DMG Mori sitting on the floor. Let's go check it out right quick. All right, so this is the lathe. As you guys already know, this is a chip conveyor. Uh, over here is some, I'm just gonna have my uh, 
metal rack for now. I'm just going to build a metal rack, put it over here, keep all my metal. Uh, right there in the corner is where I'm going to put my manual mill. I said that already, I know. <laughs> and somewhere in here I'm going to have a manual lathe. So everything's moving over here. My other little Tormach lathe, I'm probably going to put it somewhere in here. So we're trying to keep all this area open. You guys already know we have the engraver over there. Some of you asked about the engraver that I got. This is a 50 watt and this is where I got it. So give Mike a call if you want an engraver. Again, great service, great machine. But anyway, back to the lathe. This thing's pretty big. This thing weighs over 10,000 pounds. And uh, I mean, this is a big machine, but it's gonna do everything I needed to do and then some. The brake, you know, the bar's gonna feed through here. It's gonna machine one side of the brake. Sub spindle's gonna come in, it's gonna grab it. It's gonna cut it off. Then it's going to finish over here, then it's going to put in the parts catcher, and of course we're going to be able to retrieve it right here. So, this thing is going to do it all. Look at this controller. This thing is so freaking sexy. <laughs> Look at the size of that screen. This thing is the controller, and this thing is going to handle pretty much everything. And we're going to get into all this. Don't, don't think we're not. Obviously, I'm documenting this whole thing, so... I'm gonna do a video pretty soon on the whole process. Uh, how I was, well, I, <laughs> how I have been able to do this debt free. This is the big thing. This, and this is extremely important for me doing this debt free, okay? I don't like debt. My wife and I worked really, really hard to get out of debt and uh, been doing this debt free. And uh, I'm gonna explain how I was able to do this, okay? Uh, no, I did not use your money because I've had a, one or two people email me and say that me, I have one for sure. He said me making a machine shop or building a machine shop uh, did not look good on me because it, you know, some people may think I'm using their money. I'm not using your money. I'm using my money. But, you know, I just had to say that, okay? Having said that, uh, I'm going to make a full episode on, on how... I was able to do all this debt free. It has not been easy, trust me, it has been extremely hard. And it's not so much for the money, it's the whole process. Everybody wants you to go into debt. Everybody wants you to get a loan. Everybody wants you to, to, uh, to get this, that, and the other. And when I tell them I don't wanna do that, I wanna pay cash, that literally complicates the whole process. But we're gonna get into that. Because uh, I think it's something very important for you guys to see and to learn and uh, to figure out that you can do this debt free. Uh, again, it's not easy. Nothing's easy, but uh, I just can't believe how hard it is to pay cash for things nowadays. Everybody wants you, to, you know, to sign on the dotted line and you know just pay that interest. But anyway, uh, here's the machine again. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it right there. The uh, they're gonna come tomorrow and finish setting it up. I'm gonna run in the morning and get a generator because we're gonna need power for this bad, bad boy. And uh, compressor, I still don't have an air compressor. <laughs> uh, that's all I have, this little pancake. And uh, I think that's all I need for now. But you know, to run this machine, I'm gonna need a, a bigger compressor. I still don't have power, but we're, like I said, the generator, we're just gonna have to power it with that and uh, go to town. Tomorrow we're gonna keep working and I'm gonna document as much as I can because I want you guys to be part of this. And if you're thinking about doing something like this or, or uh, maybe this helps you, okay? All right, exciting day today. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like in a year. Thank you very much. Thank you for being part of this. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Keep them centered.